If you thought the record labels were complete fucks when it came to YouTube already, well, there's a good possibility that you ain't seen n -n nothing yet. YouTube's current deals with the big three, that's Sony, Warner, and Universal, have ended. What does this mean? Well, it could mean a number of things, all of which are probably not great. According to an article I read at digitalmusicnews.com, where I've written a couple of articles recently, go read them, Apple's Jimmy Yavin says that YouTube accounts for 40% of all streaming music, but only 4% of the total revenue. Another article they wrote that says that according to the IFPI, who can suck every part of my cock for taking down my musical autopsy, a bitch better have my money, freemium music consumers generate less than a dollar a year for the industry each. 72 cents to be approximately exact. If you don't pay for music, that's how much you generate. Even less, obviously, if you use Adblock, though I think that's included in the average and probably a very small part of why that number is so low. Probably could have been at least a whole 75 cents per user if it wasn't for you people. So you can see why the music industry might not be too thrilled. 40% of streamed music consumed on the internet is being consumed on YouTube, where they make sweet dick all in comparison to what they make from paying streaming customers, which makes sweet dick all compared to what they used to make back when people actually bought albums. So, the big three are probably going to demand a bigger slice of the pie. The problem is, so many other people are also taking their bite. Although I don't have solid numbers, I'm sure that a lot of YouTube views are music related. But, there's also everyone else and their brother monetizing videos too. YouTube's revenue last year was $4 billion. And who knows what percentage they actually pay out, I can't find any disclosed amount. But whatever chunk they give to their subscribers, that's split amongst so many people. From YouTube stars like PewDiePie, Smosh, Rooster Teeth, and the Fine Bros, to other entertainment properties like movie trailers, WWE, Ellen, Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Fallon. Right on down to little Tommy rambling on about how his mom bought him the wrong socks while he plays Call of Duty. They're all earning their part right alongside the music labels. Which brings us to the scenarios. Scenario number one. YouTube doesn't cough up more money, and the labels tell YouTube to go fuck itself. This would obviously be the worst for fans, since we already have heard that 40% of streaming is coming from YouTube. People clearly like to use it to listen to songs and watch music videos. That means Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, SoundCloud, and whoever the fuck else is left make up the other 60%. But this would also be the worst for the labels, too. If they stop posting on YouTube, that's 40% of their exposure gone. Plus, it just means other users will post their shit, and now the labels will have to spend all day making copyright claims and earn zero dollars instead of the admittedly millions they are making from YouTube right now. So that's probably the least likely scenario. Scenario number two is that YouTube says, all the music will now be behind the paywall known as YouTube Red. Now, I don't know if you know this, but people who have been getting something for free for a long time are pretty fucking unwilling to start paying for it. So this would be a loss for everyone. Very few people would be watching those videos, which means they're getting fewer views, which means they're making even less money than before. Obviously something both YouTube and the labels would like to avoid. Which brings us to the most likely scenarios. Scenario number three. YouTube caves and gives the labels a bigger chunk of money, either fucking over other users for it, or eating into their own profits. <laughs> we already know which one they choose. Or scenario four. YouTube doesn't do fuck all and says, everything stays the same. Upload your shit to our platform or don't. And the labels just keep uploading music videos and making what they make now. Because music videos probably wouldn't even exist anymore if it wasn't for YouTube. In either of these scenarios, I see the labels still being fucking bitter and cracking down even harder with the copyright claims, whether they're legit, like little Sally making a shitty lyric video where half the words are spelled wrong, or not legit, like every time they take down a review. Cough. So, like the tagline for Alien vs Predator says, whoever wins, we lose. And I get it, the labels don't want to give shit away anymore, not when physical sales are down and digital sales have never actually made up for it. But there needs to be a free way to discover music. And you might find this hard to believe, but when you give shit away, you're gonna make a lot less money off it than if you sold it. Shocking revelation, I know. 
I always thought it was stupid that Spotify's free service gave you access to every single song. It should really only be singles. Same with YouTube, which it generally already is only singles because that's the only songs that they make music videos for, but some legit channels upload like every song on an album as audio and just slap the album logo on there as a static image. That's the label's fault. You can't give everything away for free and then bitch when no one buys anything. Back in the day, radio played singles, and based on the strength of those singles, you'd decide whether or not you wanted to buy the album. Of course, people will still pirate it. People are cheap cocksuckers. Price doesn't even matter. People have pirated my stuff, and it's $2.50. So, who should we feel bad for? YouTube, whose parent company made $74.5 billion last year? Or the music industry, that made $15 billion last year? Seriously, fuck them both. It's like watching those two bullies in high school that you hated finally fight each other. And you hope they both kill each other, or at least maim each other, but you know at the end of it, either one or both of them will still be around tomorrow to beat you up and steal your lunch money. Keep punching each other though, boys. And don't be afraid to go for the throats and or testicles. We know you'll turn your attention back to fucking the rest of us over soon, but for now, the best we can do is enjoy the fact that one of you is going to come out of this just a little bit shittier than the other. You know, it truly is the little things in life that make you smile.